Hi, everybody. I forgot to set this one to public. That's okay. Can I change it mid-stream? No, I don't think I can. That's okay. That's okay. Um, the, the one on the album and on YouTube will be public. I say, this video, I say the one, but I felt like it's going to be different. Um, thank you for coming today. You know, I shared a post a few minutes ago. Been a rough well, evening and morning here. My, my chair broke, my recliner, which I can't complain. I got it for free. And I can't find any of the tools I need to fix it. It's been a very frustrating morning just trying to find them, and I don't know where they are. I think I might be able to fix it, but I'm not sure. Honestly, it'd probably be best just to get a new chair. But I don't really have the money for that. And then I wanted to take a shower. But every time I take a shower, I get some type of respiratory thing, like bronchitis or something, because I think there's just a little bit of mold growing in my shower. And while I've scrubbed it out, scrubbed it out a little bit, my wife and I both did, and everything, it just, whatever. And I was going to seal there. There's actually a crack where it's forming, and, and there's no caulking on it. So I was like, okay, I'll just put a bead. I had a leftover tube, but the tube exploded, and I couldn't use it. And I'm like, I can't go down and get more stuff. And it's just, it's been very frustrating. And, and I was trying to practice for this video, and things kept happening. I'm like, this has got to be the devil, because I must be doing something good. And... And then it hit me. I've been getting really frustrated, and I've been using some four-letter words, and my spirit is not calm in me. And that's not good. And all these problems I've been having with my with my shower and my my chair, it's all busted. And I'm hoping maybe if I look after this video, I would be able to find at least a couple things I can use to hopefully try and fix my chair but but today I wanted to I had all these song ideas and then I, like I came up with the, what I'm doing this week you know about a month ago I wanted to focus on the name of Jesus I don't know why I just I felt like it and then I've talked a lot about him I've sung a lot about him um, so if you followed my videos at all you know if you haven't all I can say is I can't tell you Sometimes I don't feel like I experience his goodness in my life or his blessings, but then I look, I can see, I can see where he's been present in the past. Sometimes I just don't feel like it's there, but I, I've seen it in other people's lives. I have. There's a song I'm going to sing today, kind of challenging for me, different style, but, um, no, that's not the point. Yesterday was kind of a, a worshipful day. It was a longer video than I intended, but I did as the Spirit led me, so I, I can't imagine it, it's going to have a bad effect. Um. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I hope you enjoy today's music and some of the stuff I'd like to talk about, which I don't know. I don't, I don't think I have much to talk about. I did want to share... My frustrations with you this morning because I think it's important that we relate to each other and my life ain't perfect I don't know if that's obvious I'm in my bedroom that's where I do 99% of these videos from I've had a couple other locations but they didn't really work for me so um, but yeah uh, sorry let's just let's get to the music Shall we? Jesus, name above all names, beautiful Savior. Glory is Lord, Emmanuel, God is with us, blessed Redeemer, living Word, Jesus, name above all 
Jesus, name above all names, beautiful Savior, glorious Lord, Emmanuel, God is with us, blessed Redeemer, living Just a little chorus, I guess, not much. And I was in the wrong key. <laughs> Supposed to cable on that one, that's all right. Um. Now, there's a verse in the Bible, in James, I believe, it says, Cast all your care onto him, or all your anxiety on him, for he cares for you. I've talked a lot about that. How much Jesus cares for all of us. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful his name is wonderful jesus my lord he is the mighty king master of everything his name is wonderful jesus my lord great shepherd, the rock of all ages, almighty God is he, bow down before him, love and adore him, his name is is wonderful Jesus my Lord his name is wonderful Jesus my Lord you know, I, I shared my frustrations and some of the things going on all that to tell you is that, yeah, I talk about all Jesus and everything every time chance I get, but it's, uh, I don't always practice it how I should. And I had that thought as I was getting angry and, and frustrated. I'm like, I'm not really depending on Jesus here, am I? And the Holy Spirit. So I, know, I asked for forgiveness, and I guess I asked for your forgiveness because... How can I talk to you guys about what I talk about and not live it? Well, I'm human, for one thing, and I'm a, I am a man given to anger. It's kind of something that runs in the family, and anyone who knows any male on the Copeland family knows we anger issues. Um, oh, crud, I don't have my pedal out. So this is going to be a little challenging here. Um, but I want another verse in... Oh, I can't remember... It was one of the books in the Bible written by the Apostle Paul. He said, whatsoever things are good, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are noble, think on these things. That it may be well with you. Because for whatsoever is in your heart, for out of the abundance of the heart, man speaks. And I, I'm probably confusing two scriptures. Because I'm great at remembering what they say and their application, but I cannot remember where they live. Their addresses there in the Bible. I'm, I've always been bad at that. No matter, how, and, and and believe me, I've tried. I, I I've, I've studied, and I practice, and, and I. But I guess the important part is knowing what the Bible says. Um, I, I can memorize a movie, but not not remember where I can find a verse. That 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 bothers me sometimes. But anyway, the reason I say that because what we put into our our our, our minds. Through our, our eyes and our ears 
gets down to our heart and and out of the abundance of the heart man speaks is what the bible says so and it comes out and not just our, our 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 speech but our behavior and sometimes when i when i'm around different types of people i act differently and i i i always feel bad about it after and there and honestly it's hard because sometimes we have some control over what we consume what we put into our bodies and what comes out but for the for a, a small part, we don't. The, the world is so full of evil and strife, and all you got to do is look at the news or one headline on on a, on a newspaper, and it, we are surrounded by nastiness and garbage, and it's all we consume. It's all we get, um, and it's hard. So I mean, and, what, and so it makes it even more important that in the areas we can choose what to put into our minds or our children's minds that we be careful we be very careful and yeah I'm into movies and popular culture and stuff but superheroes and stuff in fact that my favorite iteration of Superman is the Christopher Reeve one and there was a big Jesus allegory there that the the producers went with and then this this song this weird style it's got a little speaking part in it Actually, the actual singing part is very short. Um, but there's a lot of truth in here. And I know not everyone thinks about it, but, but the speaking part has some stuff in it about what the, the people who wrote it have actually witnessed, actually done. Um, and it's amazing. But I just I guess I'll just get into it. There's just so much truth and great, great things in this. It's it's a popular song, I guess you could say. It's famous, anyway. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There's just something about that name. Master, Savior, Jesus, like the fragrance after the rain. Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, let all heaven and earth proclaim kings and kingdoms may all pass away but there's something about that name Jesus the mere mention of his name can calm the storm, heal the sick, heal the broken, and raise the dead. At the name of Jesus I've seen hidden sin-hardened men melted, derelicts transformed, and the lights of hope put into the eyes of a hopeless child. At the name of Jesus I've seen hatred and bitterness turn to love, forgiveness, and argument cease. I've heard a mother softly breathe his name at the bedside of a child delirious from fever and watched as that little body grew quiet and the fevered brow cooled. I've sat at the side of a dying saint, her body racked with pain, and who in those final fleeting seconds summoned her last ounce of ebbing strength to just to whisper Earth's sweetest name, Jesus. Jesus. Emperors have tried to destroy it. Philosophies have tried to stamp it out. Tyrants have tried to wash it from the face of the earth with the very blood of those who have claimed it. And yet, it still stands. And there shall be that day, that final day, when every voice that has uttered a sound, every voice of Adam's race shall raise in one mighty chorus to proclaim the name of Jesus. For in that day, every knee shall bow, 
and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is truly Lord. You see, it was not by mere chance that caused that angel one night long ago to say to a virgin maiden, His name shall be called Jesus. 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 Yes, there is something. Something about that name. Kings and kingdoms may all pass away, but there's something about that name. There is something about that name. Jesus, the Bible, all of it, it's true. But many, many tyrants and people throughout history have tried to destroy the Bible and its followers, or actually, you know, Jesus and his followers, and obviously they couldn't do it. No, God takes care of his own, and... Sometimes that means calling them home to heaven, which means they die. But, and I think I've talked about this before. For the Christian, dying is not a bad thing. It's no big deal. They're promoted. Especially, you know, a sick body can't be healed by man's medicine. In the absence of a supernatural healing, they get, a, they get to heaven, they get a new body. No disease. Can't wait for that one personally. I don't have cancer or anything, but a clear head. One that's always focused on God, not myself or my circumstances. That, that's something I long for. You know, the, the, uh, man, that, that's something to look forward to. But, um,. Anyways, these next couple of songs I learned a long time ago. Um, very long time ago. Okay, maybe not that long ago. Uh, about 15, 20 years ago, I guess. Some of you, that's more than you've been alive. <laughs> but um, oh, these are good songs. And I hope they bring some encouragement to you. They're a little more uppy. They're a little more a beat, I should say, than the last few songs, so... But anyways... <laughs> I'm 
get a bonus song today. I hope. Let's see. Nope, that goes down. He wants us. He chooses us. That's how much He loves us. And uh, 
I want to do this one because it because of the little the bridge in this song. power to change lives and everything if we'll simply accept it. That's a pro the joy and the problem of free will is a lot of our problems are our own fault. And I mean that both as individuals and as a species. I think a lot of our medical issues today have come from mankind as a whole trying to mess with our own genes and everything and at the time, it seemed okay. And like, oh, we're going to do good things. And then bad things happened. We should have just stopped. Them. Okay, never mind. Let's not do that. No, no. We'll, we'll, we'll keep going and see if we can fix what we screwed up. An admirable goal, to be sure, but it hasn't really worked. <laughs> but thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. God bless.